Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to create a crumpled foil material in Substance Designer. It's a quick and simple video, so you don't need to be a professional to understand it. I used to work with Easy Node, but you can add nodes through regular spacebar menu. I attached a link to Easy Node and ID for preset, which I created for this video in description. To add uh, the preset, just copy the ID text and simply paste it here that's it foil close and choose it from drop down list here that's it first of all add uh, uniform color nodes for base color metallic and roughness change output size to minus 7 for optimization switch to grayscale and plug them so almost white for base color Ctrl D for duplicate almost just white for metallic and uh, almost black for oops almost black for roughness dark gray I think so that's what we have now let's add a blend node, a normal map, set normal to something like 10, let's try some noise to double check. Yes, now it's working, a bit too intensity too intensive. Now I think it's fine. And now let's build our height map. I like to use crystal for this kind of shapes. So let's add it. I think it's scaled up too much. Let's decrease it for something like that. Yep. Uh, duplicate with Ctrl D. Choose this one. Uh, scale it down even more. Disorder it. Yep. And they will be our shapes. A big shapes and the small shapes. I want to tweak levels just a bit something like that and here as well now I want to warp them I will warp them with plasma map scale down then blur it too much and let's warp a big shapes first plug it here maximum is fine I think maybe two now too much one now I will warp small shapes with the same map so it uh, won't fit it perfectly so I will scale it up it's safe transform let's pick 3 and 90 degrees rotation and plug it here too much let's decrease it to something like yeah to something like that and now let's blend them together Blending mode set to max. Yep, that's it. Let's take a look what we have here. Yeah, that's what we have right now. And now we have a uh, high areas and low areas. I want to blur the only low areas right now. 
so I will use non-uniform blur and I will use the same map uh, for a blur map excuse me as a blur map non-uniform blur works this way uh, what is closer to white color will be blurred more what is close to dark color to black color will be blurred less so uh, to get the um, required result I have to uh, invert uh, this map so that's how it's working a bit too intensive I think something like one will be fine yeah more samples, more blades I have, I have to tweak levels a bit to get a proper result and now I will blur it a bit a bit yep. let's take a look that's what we have right now a bit better than before still not good though I have to set up it here Let's take a look closer. Okay, let's continue. So, we created a base shape uh, and now we have to warp it many times. First warp will be uh, big shapes warp I like Perlin noise for this scale it down to something like that yeah and blur it not as much It's too intensive, I think something like 0 0.2 will be okay. Yep. Now let's add an extra warp. Now let's add an extra warp for smaller shapes. <coughs> I will use crystal map for that. With default scale but blurred just a bit yep. too intensive yeah Okay. And now one more warp node. With another crystal map. With this one. Scaled up. Blurred. Not too much. 
let's plug it here one more warp with same crystal but transformed with 90 degrees and let's decrease the intensity of warp to something like oops yeah okay now let's take a look here okay now it's much better than it was before Let's use non-uniform blur once more. Now let's warp it once again with uh, same crystal map but scaled up and tweak a disorder plug it here oops I forgot to blur it just a bit yep and scale down to very low amount oops it's too much I think it's fine. Now let's check it with a close up. Okay. That's good, I think. Let's check it in 4K. Uh huh. I see small dots everywhere, so I have to blur it just a little bit just a little bit to something like 0 0.2 I think let's check it again okay now it's clean And as a final touch, we can add the high pass. With average radius. And that's what we have. You can tweak it to get a proper result, but I prefer a default one with bigger and smaller shapes. And that's it. You saw the result in the beginning of video, which I rendered in Marmoset Toolback. And that's all. I hope you liked the video. You can download the material and use it however you want for free. Thanks for watching.